Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some uh, plays for you today. Some plays out of the Saints playbook. This is almost everybody's favorite. I really can't tell like what playbook I should use going forward between the Saints and the Raiders because I really feel like my audience is kind of divided between the two. Let me know in the comment section. At some point, I'm going to make one of these playbooks my personal favorite. Although the Saints, I used last year like a lot. <laughs> I mean, that was my favorite. Maybe the last two Maddens. So I'm, I'm hesitant to go back to it based off of the fact that I like to explore new things. That makes the game fun and exciting is to explore new books. Uh, the plays I'm going to show you guys today uh, are going to be out of the formation that I probably used more than any other formation in Madden last year. Uh, and then when Madden 21 came out, this entire formation was completely nerfed. None of the plays worked the way that I that I used them in the past. Uh, but I guess one of the recent patches must have changed all that because this formation is back in a big way. It might be even glitchier than it was last year. And I'm going to show you guys some new setups for that including some running plays if you go back to like madden 15 16 maybe 17 the halfback zone and the strong power were complete cheat code running plays that once again were nerfed to hell in my opinion uh, to the point where they really weren't usable for whatever reason they're also back in a big way i think in general uh you know toss plays anything with pulling linemen the second they came out with pin and pull guru it seemed like they just made like you know the linemen's ability to to target their blocks just terrible uh and i feel like that was last year this year i feel like for whatever reason you don't need pin and pull guru anymore last year you need that now i feel like it works really well as is uh so like i said the two run plays i'm going to show them both i'm going to show you guys the reads you need to make i mean they have a couple other ones to counter stuff like that but i'm going to show you guys i'll put them all in my audibles the counter the zone uh and then like i said the strong power is definitely my favorite now and then the last one i guess we'll just make the draw play but i'll show you guys the reads you need to make to run these plays uh successfully because this is actually going to be one of the better running schemes in the game before i get into this video as always i just want to let you guys know know if you need coins with all these promos dropping all these holiday promos coming out make sure to check out my coin sponsor moxp.com uh link in the description below you get five percent off you discount code money shot and you support the channel every time you use it so like i said i appreciate all you guys are doing for me you guys have been showing me a lot of love and support uh and if you want to do it through buying coins through my sponsor that really helps me out as well other than that let's go and let's get right into the reads um now this for, you know the first play i can tell the biggest gap Typically, you're just looking for gaps. If you have a big gap like you do here, a wide alignment like this, the halfback draw is going to probably make the most sense. You do have a good straight-ahead run in this particular formation. I'm not sure if in other playbooks you do, but I know in this particular formation you have that. Now, this formation is a little bit more stacked to the middle based off the fact that you have that 3-3-5 look. I would say the strong power, like I said, I'm always going to be looking for opportunities to run this strong power, but you do have uh, a couple of good options when it comes to the halfback zone. This is a play I was I was never really capable of running the halfback zone it's something that i'm not very good at running the power though i absolutely love uh if it's a zone coverage i typically flip it if it's a man coverage i typically run to the open side it's really that simple and you're really just watching is there a cornerback on the right side i mean he's playing way off so you could run it in that direction but i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip it every time that i have a zone play and then you can see how the blocking is just phenomenal this year which like i said that was kind of the thing in the past it was really overpowered in the past and it feels that way again so i mean you have your traditional looking for the gaps i would say these three plays here the draw the zone and the counter are all plays where you're really just looking for gaps like the draw right here i could take that right up the middle because that's where my biggest gap is and i actually like that you get a little bit of a hesitation before the handoff because you can see it actually helps the block set up the only play, in my opinion, is different than looking for gaps. It's just a straight man or zone read, and that's the halfback power. If I have a zone, I'm going to go left. If I have a man, I'm going to go right. It's that simple. Here, though, it looks like we have a much bigger gap to the counter. So we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna hit that. I'll go to the practice to show you guys how to read counter plays. There is a read you have to make when it comes to counter plays. I try to go over it in every video that I, that I you know, basically talk about a counter play. But like I said, you always want this guy out wide. That's important to have that gap between him and the defensive tackle and then it's really a simple read of one guy you're reading this one guy if he crashes in he's aggressive like he is here you can't go outside you got to go inside 
behind your pulling blocker. This guy here, he's going to come out. He's going to he's gonna stick him. I guess I, guess I had the wrong guy. Whoever the pulling blocker is, I guess it's the tackle. My bad. So The guard, my bad. So, yeah, the guard's going to come across. I thought I was on him. He's going to stick him. You got to go inside. It doesn't even have to be a great block. You just have to go inside of it because he's going to shield you from that defender. There's going to be animations as well where this guy just kind of stands around and waits. He'll just stop right here, and he'll, become, he'll basically start reading. If he does that, if he slows down, if he hesitates, you have to take this run outside of him because at that point this blocker is going to come across he's going to stick him right there and then you take it outside that's just that's just really all there is to it if you make that read correctly you will have a successful run every time I really feel if you have a stack box like this too or you have a lot of blitzing the strong power is going to be huge it just lets the blitzers through and by the time they come in you're pretty much gone so this is something that if you have a lot of heavy man blitzers and stuff like that this is going to eat them up and then, I mean, here's a good opportunity for that zone, flipping it to the weak side. Like I said, I could have ran counter there, but you can see there's definitely some easy reads when you're looking for space. Uh, this is a really easy formation to run, and it's a really good running formation. It's definitely back in a big way. So here's another opportunity. Here we're going to go power. Like I said, I'm going to go zone side. Let these guys, they're going to stack the box. I'll let them in. Look how that hole opens up right over the middle. I mean, there's just nothing but running space. This is one of the most wide open running uh, schemes in the game. Uh, but let's go and let's move on to some of the pass plays. We got three pass plays. Like I said, the verticals, I'll start off with that. This is one of the most broken pass plays in the game last year. And without a doubt, I mean, it's one of my most used plays of all time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go coverage to coverage. We're going to start off with a cover two and work our way back. This play here, this is pretty good as is. I mean, a lot of times I just like to streak the tight end. The running back is a really good check down. Uh, and it's going to be important when it comes to cover too because that's really what gets this guy open underneath here uh, once that cornerback drops down on the running back. So against cover two, you pretty much want to make that read. I don't even have to streak against cover two. I don't have to streak the Y route. That's probably best to leave him there because that's going to pull that safety in a little bit. And then you can easily get some one play touchdowns out of this if you're running it to the open side of the field, which I'm currently not. So now this play doesn't work against cover three the same way it did last year. Um, last year, all you really had to do was put these guys on a streak once again. Uh, you can still have success though. If you motion out Kamara and put him on a streak, and then you also have to have essentially, uh, was it Hot Route Master or whatever, uh, your superstar ability on a receiver, because you need the corner route. So if I put the outside receiver on a corner route and then smart route him, this play can still have success, but if you don't have that ability, it's not going to work out. But you can see right here, um, it creates the same opening. I don't have to be all the way to the side of the field like I am, but you can do that if you have a receiver that has that ability, and I know a lot of people have that ability. So this play can, uh, home run cover three um, like it used to but uh, it just takes a little bit uh, it takes a little bit more than adjustments you can make um, you know without superstar abilities but you can still get home runs it's still a good play against cover three if you have that now against a defense like cover four quarters you can have that same success you just have to motion out the running back the same way you did against cover three put the x route on a zig and that's just going to create an, an ungodly type of creation or space right through the middle which is something that i do quite a bit cover four quarters cover six cover um cover nine anything where there's a where half the field's a cover four quarters this play will work just like this um you just need to split the field you just have to have streaks on the one side and then like i said that zig route is enough to just make that outside cornerback uh, basically glitch out or you know not really glitch out but just slow down enough that you just have to bomb it up so if you get a look like that this is a really good play like i said that's any look where you have like your cover four palms um any any defensive look where like cover six half of the cover six is a cover four quarter so you basically just have to identify which half of the field that is and you're going to glitch it out although obviously it works against cover two as well which is the other half of the cover six now, since this formation, they kind of nerfed the cover three quality of verticals. You all, you do have another really good cover three play, and that's the spot option. So we're going to go, we're going to pick that. Then we'll just pick specifically cover three here, the cover three sky. So like I said, since the other play doesn't work for everybody anyway against cover three, all you have to do, block the running back. I'm sorry, not block the running back. Well, you can block the running back or you can motion him out. It's really up to you. There's two different ways to do this. Uh, you can motion him out. You can streak the A route and then you can streak the X route. This is one option, uh, but you could also uh, just keep the running back blocking. 
uh, in motion. Just keep him there in motion across the B route. That's something that you could also do. You need to motion somebody across. So this is this is your two options. I'd rather have the blocking back, considering uh, it's going to help out. You could also try to put the Y route here on a smart route, although it's really only going to work if you're at something less than 10 yards, like second and eight, third and six. It'll shorten that route. It'll make this play even more explosive. Uh, but this is really all you need to do. And then you can see, once again, we have a cover three beater in this scheme, uh, which, you know, obviously is important. You need that to go with the other the other zones. So, like I said, if you want to, you can run it any number of ways. You can mirror the original play by motioning out the running back. You have a pretty good check down here with the B route also. Um, so, if you run into trouble, you have that. And then you just have a really explosive uh, one-play touchdown against cover three. Super easy. So then last play before I get to uh, my Patreon and my Join Now plays, uh, which will be at the end of this video, I'm going to show the cross drag. That's the last play in this formation, in this scheme. I'll still probably have about three more pass plays on the on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out on my on my Join Now community, hit the Join Now tab uh, or you know check out my Patreon link in the description below and you guys get the full scheme out of this because this has still got a lot of plays left. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead I'm going to finish this particular video off with the cross drag. This is obviously a really good uh, man coverage play again but i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna pick random now for me i like to run this guy i like to motion this guy across there's a couple different ways you can run it. i also like to streak the a route sometimes although it's not a bad idea just to uh leave it as is like i said i like to motion across because i think it's just better timing between the x route and the y route then I'm going to block the running back because he's not really doing a ton. But all these crossing routes, I mean, you can see how against man coverage it's going to be a complete uh, destroyer based off the fact that we have all these crossing routes. But it's not just going to do that against man coverage. So like I said, I like to streak the A route. Sometimes I even like to streak the uh, you know, the X route too, but that doesn't really matter. I think that the two main routes are going to be the Y route and the B route. And you can see right here, this guy just comes open right across from that. So really easy read. Like I said, sometimes if you want to put the uh, the running back out like you've been in the past, put him on a slant. I mean, I wish I could put him on uh, a similar route um, that the uh, the Y route is on. Uh, but then, like I said, now you have you know you have you guys pulling back, and then you have uh, multiple options uh, to really come open underneath. But this is really the money play right here. This is the guy that's going to be open the most, and then the drag underneath him is typically just going to be the check down. But those are pretty much your pretty much your reads. Like I said, I like having that. I like having somebody pulling back, but I mean, there's multiple ways to do this. You can see we're having a lot of success, no matter who we do. And we're just reading high low. Like which one comes open first? A lot of times. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of this, if you want to see the full scheme on my YouTube down the line, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Hello.